So let's write the Hamiltonian again in terms of uh, V and V dagger. So from this equation, V dagger V, from this equation, is equal to 2H bar over M omega A dagger A. And immediately above the equation, V dagger V is this. We substitute into the Hamiltonian and the Hamiltonian becomes the nice object h bar omega a dagger a plus one All right, we did the hard work of factorization. We have to show what's good for. Well, in fact, we're going to be able to solve the harmonic oscillator without ever talking about differential, almost ever talking about differential equation. In fact, we will not talk about the second order differential equation. <laughs> Thanks to our great work here, we will have to talk about a first order differential equation and a much simpler one, and only one, not for n, one, two, three, infinity, infinite number of polynomials. It's a great simplification. Other Hamiltonians admit factorization. In fact, there's a whole there are books on factorizable Hamiltonians because. Those are the nicest Hamiltonians to solve. Um, let's see why, though. We haven't said why yet. Here is the leading thing that we can do. Remember, we, we call phi psi the integral dx of phi star of x psi of x. It's just notation. Um, so, the expectation value, calculate the expectation value of the Hamiltonian in some state psi. Could be general state psi. So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to do psi h psi. This is a normalized state. Expectation value is the integral of psi star, h psi, that's what this is. But now let's put in this information. And uh, the expectation value of this would be psi, h, well let me do it this way, h bar omega, well, let's go slow. Psi H omega A dagger A A psi plus H omega over two psi. So I just calculated H on psi and I wrote what it is. H omega this this term. So this is two terms, h omega psi a dagger a psi plus h omega over 2 psi psi. Okay, so what did I gain with the factorization? So far it looks like nothing, but here we go. This term is equal to 1 because the wave function is normalized. And here I can do one thing. I can remember my definition of a Hermitian um, conjugate. I can move an operator and put its Hermitian conjugate on the other side. So think of this operator, a dagger. A dagger is acting on this wave function. What is a dagger? Is this. And P is h bar over i d dx. So this, you know how to act. 
but if a dagger is here, I can put it on the first wave function, but I must put the dagger of this operator, and the dagger of a dagger is a, so this is h omega, a psi, a psi, plus h omega over 2. Now here comes the next thing. If this is an inner product, any phi phi is greater or equal than zero because you would have phi star phi, and that's positive. So any of that integral is greater or equal than zero. And look, here you have some function, but here the same function. It is this case. That thing is greater or equal than zero. That is the great benefit of the factorized Hamiltonian. If H has a V dagger V, you can flip the V dagger here and it becomes V psi, V psi, and it's positive. And you've learned something very important, that you can get positive energies. In fact, from here, since this is positive, this must be greater or equal than h omega over 2. Because this is greater than or equal than 0. So the expectation value of the Hamiltonian, if you would be thinking now of energy eigenstates, the energy eigenvalue is the expectation value of the Hamiltonian in an energy eigenstate must be greater than h bar omega over 2. And uh, in some blackboard that has been erased, we remember that the lowest energy state had energy, there it is, uh, the lowest energy state has energy h omega over 2. So, Look at this, and you say, okay, uh, this shows that any eigenstate must have energy greater than h omega over 2. But could there be one state for which the energy is exactly h omega over 2? Yes, if this inner product is zero. But for an inner product of two things to be zero, each function must be zero. So, from this we conclude that if there is a ground state, it's a state for which a phi, or a psi, is equal to zero. So, this is a very nice conclusion. So, if the lower bound is realized so that you get a state with energy equal h bar over 2, then it must be true that a psi is equal to 0. And a psi equal to 0 means x plus ip over m omega on psi is equal to 0. Or x plus p is h bar over i d dx. So this is h bar over m omega d dx on psi of x is equal to 0. And that was the promised fact. We have turned the second order differential equation into a first order differential equation. Think of the magic that has happened to do that. You had a second order differential equation because the Hamiltonian had x squared and p squared. By factorizing, you got two first order differential operators. And by hermeticity, you were led to the condition that the lowest energy state had to be killed by A. That's why A is called the annihilation operator. 
It should be killed. And now you have to solve a first order differential equation, which is a game, an easy game compared with a second order differential equation. So let's, uh, of course, solve it. It doesn't take any time. It's, uh, let's call this the ground state, if it exists. And uh, this gives you d psi 0, dx is equal to minus m omega over h bar x psi 0. Um, this can be integrated easily, or you can guess the answer. It's an exponential. Anything that differentiated gives you x times the same function is an exponential. e to the minus m omega 2h squared x squared is the solution of psi 0 of x equal to some number times that. This was the number is the permit polynomial sub 0, and that exponential is the exponential we wrote a few blackboards ago. It's a good exponential. It's a perfect Gaussian. It's our ground state. N0, if you want to normalize it, N0 is equal to m omega over pi h bar to the 1 fourth. And uh, that is the ground state, and it has energy h omega over 2. You could see what the energy is by doing this very simple calculation. Look, uh, get, get accustomed to these things. h and psi 0. What is h? Is h omega a dagger a plus 1 half acting on psi 0. The a acting on psi 0 already kills it, because that's the defining equation. So that's 0, and you get 1 half h bar omega, confirming that you did get this thing to be correct. So uh, this is. Uh, only the beginning of the story. We found the ground state, and now we have to find excited states. Let me say a couple of words to set up the discussion for next time. Um, the, ground, the excited states appear in a very nice way as well. So, first, that tiny bit of language of h bar is equal h omega a dagger a is usually called the number operator we'll explain more on that next time so n number operator is a dagger a it's a Hermitian operator and uh, it's pretty much the Hamiltonian. It's the number it's called. Why is it called the number is what we have to figure out. Uh, it is a counting operator. It just looks at the state and counts things. Uh, so what does this give us? Well, we also know that the number operator kills phi 0. Because A kills psi 0. A kills it. So that's what we have. So we did say that uh, A was a destruction operator, an annihilation operator, because it annihilates the ground state. So if A annihilates the ground state, A dagger cannot annihilate the ground state. Why? Because a dagger with A, commutator is equal to 1. Look at this. This is A, A dagger minus A dagger A. Act of the ground state. That's it. Now this term kills it. 
But this term better not kill it because it has to give you back the brown side if this is true and this is true. So a dagger doesn't kill the ground state. Since it doesn't kill it, it's called a creation operator. So you have this state, but now there's also the state a dagger acting on the vacuum. And there's the state a dagger, a dagger acting on the vacuum, and all those. And what we will figure out next time is that, yes, this is the ground state, and this is the first excited state, and this is the second excited state, and those are forever. So we'll have a very compact formula for the excited states of the harmonic oscillator. There are just creation operators acting on the ground state or the vacuum.